Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to do a restore on a OneKey Pro. OneKey Pro is the flagship product of the OneKey line. It has a large touchscreen, color touchscreen with haptic feedback and a lot of other great security features. I've done a setup video on this hardware wallet which I'll put links to in the description for you. But today I'm going to show you how to do a restore. A lot of people don't quite understand how a restore works, uh, but when you first set up your wallet, you are asked to write down a backup phrase consisting of 12 or 24 words. In the case of my OneKey Pro, I chose a 12 word backup phrase. When your device is lost, stolen, or damaged, you can use that backup phrase to restore to a new device. So my old device is unusable, so I buy a brand new device, and then I get out my seed phrase and use that to run a restore. All right, so this is the welcome screen that you'll see when you first start up your device, it, whether it's new or has been through a factory reset. Uh, you'll get this screen. Now, if you reset your go-to device uh, for whatever reason, either intentionally or unintentionally, uh, make sure that you run the restore process. Don't set the device up as brand new with a new seed phrase. It won't have access to any of your existing crypto. So, uh, as I mentioned, you'll want to do the restore either on a new device or a factory reset device. So uh, we'll choose our language. Uh, instead of creating a new wallet, we're going to say uh, import wallet. And uh, we can use the recovery phrase or one key light. Now, one key light is a really handy way to do restores. Uh, the one key light is a product you can purchase from one key. It looks like a credit card. It's a little digital card that you can use to back up your device digitally. And uh, that way you don't have to fool around with this seed phrase, right? Uh, you can store the card uh, in a safe place. And when it comes time to do a restore, you basically just hold the card behind the device and use NFC to do the restore. It's a really handy way to uh, store your backups digitally and restore them quickly and easily. Uh, but I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm going to use my recovery phrase. So I'll choose recovery phrase. Before I uh, do the restore, I do need to secure the device itself by setting up a pin to prevent unauthorized access. So we'll go ahead and get the pin going. Once you've got the pin set up, you can add a fingerprint, uh, which goes over here on the power button. It's a pretty cool little fingerprint reader. Um, makes a lot of the operations uh, much easier and intuitive, but I'll go ahead and skip that for now. You can always do it later. As I mentioned, I used a 12 word seed phrase. I'll go ahead and choose 12 words and then I'll choose continue and then uh, basically just start typing in the words. Uh, I have my list over here. Your list should be on a card that came with the wallet. Uh, you can use, you could have used a piece of paper. I like to use a piece of paper. Um, you might have a metal backup like a, a crypto tag Loki or something like that. But uh, however you have your seed phrase stored, it's a numbered list of words. So start with number word number one and start typing it in. Notice after you type in the first three letters, you'll see the completed word at the bottom. Uh, the words in uh, seed phrase are from a standardized list called the BIP39 word list. There are only 2,048 words in this list. It's not a sampling of the entire English language. Um, so it's the device will know uh, which word you're after once you type in three or four letters. Also notice uh, some of the longer words. Uh, once you type the first three letters, uh, you can scroll through the list if you want to. Or you can just type the fourth letter. Once you type that fourth letter, there's no ambiguity left. So uh, it's up to you how you want to do it. All right, and once you've finished entering all of your words, it will direct you to uh, download the OneKey app. In most uh, restore situations, you already have the app installed on your phone or your computer. And so uh, you don't need to reinstall it. Now you will need to reconnect the device after a restore. 
um, just to, so that the app can verify the device. So uh, I'll go through, I'll show you how to do that. So as I mentioned, the uh, OneKey Pro has this really beautiful uh, touchscreen um, with haptic feedback. Uh, you've got this great touchscreen, very easy to read, very beautiful to look at, and you'll have that you have that fingerprint reader on the power button. So a lot of great features on this device. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the OneKey app. Uh, notice my balance here. Uh, I have a little bit of Bitcoin and Solana in the wallet, but I do need to reconnect the device uh, for the hardware verification. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my device with my USB cable. What we want to do is go up here to wallet and then we're going to just choose add wallet and uh, we'll connect the hardware wallet. All right, I'll hit connect wallet and it sees the device right here. And then I need to authorize physically, hit that confirm button, and it verifies the device. And that's all great. All right, and it just regenerates all the accounts. Look, if we go back up here, notice that it's in here twice now. Um, we can go back to that first one and just get rid of it. All right, that was your previous configuration. Uh, and so now everything's cleaned up. Uh, but I don't see that Solana. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, there is a default list of cryptos that are actively being managed in the wallet. Uh, but uh, if you need to add more, you just go over here to manage. And if it's being managed on the device, uh, the balance will be available, right? So I'll just choose Sol here. I'll hit this plus and I'll hit create. It checks the device. It sees that uh, there's already Solana on there. And uh, there's my balance again. Now let's verify this device to double check to make sure that uh, it was restored properly uh, to its original state, right? Whether it's a new device or a reset device, as long as you run that restore, the private key will match the original private key when you set these wallets up. So I'll just go into the Bitcoin wallet I'll choose receive and I'll choose verify on device. And uh, there it shows that Bitcoin address, right? I can verify that it's the same address I see here on my screen. We'll hit done. And uh, we can deposit more crypto if we want to, but I was just running the hardware check. I can do the same thing with Solana. We'll go into the wallet, choose receive, hit verify on device. And then it shows up on my screen. Notice the color scheme uh, that it uses. I love how it uh, does its best to reflect the color scheme of the cryptos that you're using. Uh, we'll hit done here. We verify both of our crypto wallets that we had in here. Uh, realistically, once you verified one, they're all going to match, right? It's the same wallet. You cannot manage multiple devices in one account, right? See, if you had more than one one key, you would uh, manage them separately. So within uh, the one key account, um, verifying one address is as good as verifying all of them, right? So that's it. All you have to do is uh, perform the restore on the device and then uh, reconnect your device to the one key pro app. Make sure that you add whatever cryptos you were managing before into the active list and you're back in business. Uh, it was a really easy, straightforward process. It took me about five or 10 minutes and uh, I'm ready to go. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.